SP has conducted research to help gain a clearer understanding of the condition of the engineering sector. With greater knowledge of the engineering sector, we can offer more informed support to our engineers. Recently, ASPI conducted surveys to assess the particular challenges you, as an international engineering graduate, face when trying to secure employment in Ontario. To get a better sense of hiring trends, we surveyed 77 engineering employers that employ 4,600 engineers collectively. Out of these 77 engineering employers, 61 of them either currently employ or have employed international engineering graduates. We dug deeper to see what makes one international engineering graduate more employable than another. We discovered that it comes down to self-promotion. What skills are you emphasizing in your job interviews? Engineering employers place equal value on soft and hard skills, whereas international engineering graduates tend to emphasize their hard skills more. You might be asking, well, what is the difference? What exactly is a hard skill and what is a soft skill? Hard skills are technical, and soft skills are social and behavioral. For example, let's say you just solved a complex problem at work that your colleague couldn't solve. When your colleague asks how you solved the problem, you're unable to really say how you did it. Your colleague goes home without having learned something new. A few different types of skills are illustrated in this scenario. The hard skills are skills such as analyzing data or utilizing specific tools to solve the problem. The soft skill is communication. You use your technical knowledge and skills to solve the complex problem, but your communication skills weren't strong enough in order to teach your colleague something new. Let's look at another scenario. Let's say you've been working hard on a project over the past few months, but as a result of a few problems along the way, you're worried that you might not complete the project by the established completion date. These things sometimes happen, but what's important is how they're handled, both internally and externally with the client. You might end up using a variety of skills to try and get your project completed on time. You and your colleagues might use your technical knowledge and skills to work out a way to increase efficiency. You might use your communication skills to ensure that your team and your team manager are well aware of any problems you're facing. Perhaps there's some tension among the team, in which case you could use your conflict resolution skills to try and strengthen the working relationship between your colleagues. Were you able to identify the hard and soft skills in this last example? Can you see the difference between hard skills and soft skills? More importantly, can you see why employers value soft skills as much as hard skills? In the first scenario, you work through a problem to find a solution using your technical knowledge. The technical knowledge you brought to the problem was important here, but the need for excellent communication skills and a high aptitude for learning were also very important. When your employer hired your colleague, your colleague would have promoted those soft skills in addition to the required technical skills needed for the job. We learn from each other, and it's very important to be able to work in a team environment and communicate effectively. Have a look at this table and see just how much employers value soft skills. These are some of the skills that you should focus on and promote in job interviews. Many engineering employers in Ontario also consider it very important for international engineering graduates to have a strong grasp of the English language. Working to strengthen your English language proficiency is key. There are many different English language assessment tests you can take to prove your English language comprehension. Some immigrant serving agencies offer language assessments at no cost. You might also want to check out CANTEST, which is a standardized English proficiency test that measures four skills – listening, reading, writing and speaking. Let's turn our attention now to competencies. We want to distinguish between skills and competencies and then outline what some of the core engineering competencies are, as outlined by PEO. Think of a skill as your ability to do something, for example, solve complex problems. Think of a competency as a successful application of a set of skills, for example, coordinating tasks on a project using team management and communication skills. Here's a list of the five quality-based criteria that PEO uses to evaluate work experience. For more information, visit the PEO website. 
As we close out this section, we'd like you to reflect on your work experience and consider ways you can best promote yourself during job interviews. Remember to highlight your soft skills as well as your technical skills, because soft skills are valued as much as hard skills by engineering employers in Ontario.